Today's video is sponsored by Mythic Legions Tactics War of the Aetherblade, a brand new tactical strategy game based on the popular Mythic Legions toy line. Stay tuned to the end of this video for more details and click on the link in the video description to visit the Kickstarter campaign. Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan and welcome back to another lost episode of toy hunting with Pixel Dan. That's that, that's me. <laughs> so not too long ago, I released an episode of toy hunting with Pixel Dan where it was older footage, footage that I had held onto on a hard drive for years. I shot it such a long time ago. I totally had forgotten about it. I never did anything with it. Thought it would be fun to put that together as a lost episode. And you guys really seem to enjoy that. So I had some more footage. This is, I think, the last of the footage that I had saved from around the same time and thought it'd be fun to put together yet another lost episode. So this was a pretty fun experience. Uh, this is myself and my friends Jason Duvall, Dave Draper, and Jonathan Leonard once again on the camera. And we visited a fellow named Fred. Now Fred is a retired toy dealer. And we met Fred because a few weeks prior to the footage I'm about to show you today, he actually had a big sale out at his house uh, because he was no longer a dealer and he was just basically trying to sell off all the stuff he had left over still out in his garage. Well, he didn't sell all of it off, so uh, he actually gave us the opportunity to just come out to his house and dig through all of his stuff. He had a garage filled with boxes and boxes of toys that was all of his stock from years and years and years of being a dealer at toy shows and conventions and the like. And this is the best part. He offered us half off of whatever the price tag said on all of his toys. So of course, it was a deal we couldn't pass up. Uh, we all went out there together and he just gave us free reign. He let us dig through everything that he had. It was seriously fun. So upon arriving before we hit the garage, which is where most of his toys were stored, he actually let us come into his house and go down to his basement because down there he had a ton of board games. So we started there. We got the opportunity to dig through the board games to see if there's anything we wanted to add to our collections. Um, yeah, this is awesome. WWF WrestleMania VCR game. That's, that's pretty cool. I love the I love the board. I just love old board games. Like this. Meet, yeah, the tapes in there. Bills galore with magic pop up around. See, I love these like really old sort of elaborate ones. Look at that. Now that is a cool board game. That's a marble game, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure exactly how it works. That's cool. No, Marvel! I found something very interesting digging in the box of the Halloween stuff. Beetlejuice snake mask. That is awesome. Well, From Kenner. Cool. Yeah. Open oh, too. you gotta get this thing put on. I'm buying this. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta readjust it. Oh my god. I like how you have teeth. Your teeth are like above your, your mustache. <laughs> I think it's meant for a child's head. There, how's that? Better? Yeah. Hey, babes. Hey, babes. <laughs> Amazing. So the board games were a lot of fun to look through. Uh, we each definitely picked out a couple while we were there. Uh, in fact, he also had a pile of uh, vinyl records down there, most of them which were like geek-centric stuff. So I ended up grabbing a stack of those as well. And this was all just before we even left his basement. But this is where we were finally heading over to the garage to start just pulling out boxes and digging through them. So I've just cut together a bunch of footage of us digging through, finding lots of things. I thought it was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys will enjoy watching this as well. It's another one of those cases where you just look back and especially with the way things are now with the uh, climate of 
toys and toy collecting and prices. It's kind of amazing to see how cheap some of this stuff was, especially since we were getting it for half off and some things we were still passing on that we probably shouldn't have passed on. So enjoy. We are gonna start looking for toys. Some new adventure stuff, eh? You got all this, though, don't you? Ah, uh, well, maybe. I need to look at that, though. Shit. I love this Batman animated series stuff. It, it loves you. Look at all the bat, the bat variants. Yep. <laughs> that line was built on bat variants. Yep. Batman lines are still built on bat variants. On the man bat and Robin. Oh, it's Dick Grayson for Robin. Oh, wow. That's pretty awesome. Let me see those. These? Yeah. Jason just swoops right in, takes it to Wizzle before I even pull him out of the king. <laughs> That would be the superpowers oh, Dumbledore. Superpowers, yeah. oh. superpowers and anime series. Yep. Mm. It's pretty neat because it's got the. Uh, I think it's this button here. Yep. Battering ram. Yeah. I think this is coming home with me. <laughs> I don't blame you. Love see, it. this Batman's actually cool, this Blast Shield one, because it actually does look like the movie movie costume version to a certain degree. Like, it's a little gray. It's a little gray. But I get what you're saying. Yeah. It, it basically takes both the classic elements, because there it's very kind of grayish black, but then on the back it was a very much like blue, hmm. like almost blue grayish. Transformers TV tray. Transformers TV tray. It's kind of neat. E.T. Color Forms Adventure Playset. Oh. I always like Color Forms. A-Team and Transformers. Oh, okay, well let's look at that. You excited? <laughs> you excited about that prospect? For folders. Oh, that's Jason. cool. Look at that. It belonged to Mike. It belonged to Mike. But look at, look at how it's got the uh, little bios that's for all these guys on the bottom. The Autobots and Decepticons. I'm going to buy one of those. That's pretty darn... Uh, 1984? Those are pretty spiffy, man. Oh, is that the... Yeah. Oh, no. This is by far the scariest piece of A-Team. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, I remember that. This, okay, this A-Team van is incredible. Okay, because instead of a little Mr. T sitting inside, the driver's seat is totally a Mr. T. It's like the Mr. T driver's seat. I love it. It's so cool. Da, da, da. I think you all, you need that. Oh hell, I'm good. <laughs> Here's the uh, A Team motorized van, Great Escape stunt set. Rough Riders were neat. That was a cool little line because they were like double A. They drive up on the side of their wheels and stuff. It's pretty cool looking. I may. <laughs> Found the Ghostbusters box. Oh. Yep. Yep. Ecto three. Monsters, yeah. You keep digging on that box. I'm gonna go here. Look at these. Love these. The Ghostbusters Water Challenge. That's pretty neat. There's actually like little people in there. Really? Oh, That's this neat. is cool. It's from Remco. Remco made this. This one's Boba Fett. Yeah, I think I got um, Dark Raider. Look at that, though. Oh, yeah, I just like the movie. Look at that. Wait a minute. It's a silver and red Boba Fett. Wow. This is Django Fett before Django Fett existed. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's what inspired. That's know. really cool, actually. Yeah, Did you, uh, you got one of these, right, Dave? That's no, I don't actually. The Chewbacca bandolier strap action oh, figure cup holder. That is cool. 
only thing is like the foam rods. So this one's in box. Mint in box. Mint in box. Look, just like them. I know. I know. Just identical. Chewy. <laughs> Actually, you can get him over there to fight Godzilla. Chewy versus Godzilla. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, 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 uh. This is disco on right here. I know. Hey, ladies. Ladies. <laughs> California raisins. Look at all those. Remember when Hardy's did those? Is that the big wind up walking one? No, not the wind up ones. That's okay. cool. It is this Ferengi bank. No. It's a Ferengi savings bank. It totally makes sense. It does, actually. <laughs> I found this for you. A Boba Fett cake pan. Making a Boba Fett cake. With my Boba right. Fett mask on. See? Oh, you need a Boba Fett cereal in your last place. That's pretty cool, actually. You need the Enderoos. I actually really want the uh, the He-Man one of these if I ever come across it for a good price. It is this Ferengi bank. No. It's a Ferengi savings bank. It totally makes sense. It does, actually. <laughs> I found this for you. A Boba Fett cake pan. Making a Boba Fett cake. With my Boba right. Fett mask on. See? Oh, you need a Boba Fett cereal in the last place. That's pretty cool, actually. You need the Enderoos. I actually really want the uh, the He-Man one of these if I ever come across it for a good price. It's really kind of like, it's howdy doody. Oh, God. It's howdy doody. And I say howdy do. howdy do. That's a terrifying blast from the past. Nah. Nah. X-Men shaving cream, you guys. A whole bunch of X-Men shaving cream. <laughs> what? And all over America, you just know that, that, that scrawny little teenagers pulled out their razors and went, Snicked! <laughs> Schnicked! <laughs> Why? I'm Why does this exist? I'm the best I am. What I'm the best there is what I do. What I do. Yeah. I was just, you know, this X-Men line was such a big deal to my childhood. Oh, I know. So it's, it's like... Like, these aren't great figures, but it's totally got the nostalgia well, connection. Well, it's just like Star Wars figures for me. Yeah. I mean, if you actually look at them, they're kind of crummy looking. Yeah. But, <gasps> Danger Room playset. Ooh. That is a cool playset. There you go. This out. This is awesome. That's a cool playset. One of, one of, yeah, I love this thing. It's basically just a little place for Wolverine to do some damage. Yup. There was a Cyclops one, too. Okay, <laughs> who cares? Poor uh, Cyclops. Uh, 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 <laughs> also, also, X-Men shaving cream again. Bob That's in me. here too. I mean, who? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, there, the Spider-Man Bob bag's pretty cool. I'll never not pulling that trigger, Dan. We have to. No. Even if I have to buy this. Yeah, you can do anything. <laughs> it may now. Shave. <laughs> Actually, it smells kind of good. Schnicked. Schnicked. <laughs> X-Men, check your note. <laughs> nope, nope, you get it, not me. <laughs> the ones you were buying there? Yeah. Crud. Sorry, I was talking about that. Oh, 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 oh. He found, he found those. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I gotta look at those. Mostly I just like the original, like, I, I wish there was more of like the Hulk and Doctor Doom and Captain America yeah. and the original Punisher, not this weird trench coat one. This, this is the second Yeah, one. but see, it was the 90s, I mean, that's the thing, is you're getting 90s versions of those characters. So yeah. Like a bizarre armored daredevil. Crazy armored daredevil and trench coat Punisher yeah. and... U.S. agent. U.S. agent. Invisible woman. Mm. No. There's always in here for those. no Hulk. I want a Hulk. Might be in this other box, there's DC Comics box, there might be some Marvel stuff in there. Okay. Flash is a cop last time. Yeah, there's Rama, and there's Freeze! What's Luthor, it? punch yourself in the face, Luthor. I know, that's so great. Yep. And the Flash. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman! And Batman. Freeze! Riddler. The Robin's great. Hey. Oh, Riddler, yep, that's great. Get that. Ooh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, there's a couple of there's a couple of them in here. I actually have 
all of these except Superman now, right? And Green Lantern. No, you got me the Green Lantern. No, I got you Green Lantern. You just Superman, Superman is all I'm missing for this entire series. Oh. Yoink. Ah. Oh. See, this is part of the reason why Dave doesn't like to go toy shopping with Jason when Dave tells Jason to... Uh, I used to have the lunchbox. I used to have this, too. Wow. Ghostbusters? This was totally one of my lunchboxes from when I was school. <laughs> Whoa! Water, fire, wood. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. I like how they got the paper, rock, scissors thing going on here, too. The Defiant? Defiant. And no, I don't want the other one. I want the Defiant. Stretch. Stretch, Daniel. I always want something too far. I do love the giant Hulk, by the way. I do too. That's kind of amazing. I do too, but. Hulk with big head smash! Give me 10 bucks. Hey, you want to? No. There you go. Huh? That's less than my pay. Really? Is that a sticker or is that. The we got a. Uh, 20, so okay. he'd be 10. I was like, for 5 bucks? Heck yeah, I'll buy it. We got a classic. Yeah. What does that look one of these? Or oh, my gird! Yeah, man. The sticker's a little beat up, but it's a nice shape. There's no price tag on this one. I assume it's free. <laughs> Fred, no, no price tag free, right? It's got the same thermos inside. Yeah. That other one's much nicer, though. Is it? Yeah. Same. No, look at the colors on them. Oh. Yeah, this one, the lunchbox is broken, too. Well, but plastic ones are getting even harder to find the good metal ones these That's days. That's so cool. It's Thunder Punch He-Man fighting the Horde at the Fright Zone. Oh, cool. I love it. So this had to have been a later release. Yeah, was awesome. 85. Yeah. Yep. I better let him give me this. Give that, ah! He got the rest of them. You jerk. I found a He-Man book. Oh. Here, you he, can have one of these. And a Voltron book. And you, there's, oh, there's She-Ra books in there. And oh! <laughs> I need. I think I need the Shira book. If not, you can have it. I'm pretty sure I need that one though. What else is in there? More He-Man stuff. Oh. Man. Wait a minute. Let's like see. The box. Let's see. Hey, Dan. Oh, you. It's a backpack. Oh. 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 You know, you know I'm not I will. I will. Could... Well, I'm going to the conventions like this. I know you are. Yeah. If you can get that thing on, I know you are. <laughs> this is amazing. Look at this. this. How about my Castle Grayskull flashlight? Oh my god. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> we get the mother you, you, Do you have like a little uh, Masters of the Universe ball cap? No. But you I... eat one of those and put it on your backpack and have a little flashlight. <laughs> oh You're a little Masters of the Universe Explorer. Let's do it, guys. First of all, I guess I should put on your cool glasses. Put on my. Looks like these toys are gonna cost me some money. <laughs> <laughs> so after spending a few hours out there just digging through boxes, finding all kinds of fun treasures, uh, the time had come for us to kind of stack up everything that we had been looking at. We were all sitting there, kind of using our calculators on our phones to come up with our total and then basically taking half off of whatever the total was um, and getting a pretty great deal. We all got good deals. We ended up bringing home a lot of things. Uh, among the things you saw me digging through in this video, uh, I wound up bringing home some of those New Adventures of He-Man toys. I wound up bringing home some of those Toy Biz, Marvel, and DC figures. A couple board games you saw me stacking up there, like the WWF WrestleMania VCR board game. Uh, and of course, all of those amazing random pieces of Masters of the Universe merchandise, which were definitely my favorite finds from that trip. They're all still in my collection today. They're some of my favorite things that Castle Grayskull flashlight, the book bag, the lunchbox, the thermos, the books, all that fun stuff. I mean, that was some of my favorite things I found that particular day. Also, I thought this was kind of funny. Um, right before I started editing this video together, I actually found uh, this Battle Beast thermos in one of my boxes in my collection, and I couldn't remember where I got it from. Turns out it was from this sale because it was right there in the video. So I just thought that was really funny and uh, wanted to show that off for you guys. 
Obviously, there were a lot of really good deals that I can't believe that we passed up on. Specifically for me, those two giant size Toy Biz vinyl figures, Hulk and Spider-Man, I cannot believe those things were only $10 and it's crazy that I didn't buy them. If you guys follow this channel, you know I just finally bought that Hulk figure this year and I spent like $60 to buy that Hulk. So man, just goes to show you, I, I definitely passed up on some things that I shouldn't have. Um, you know, and it, it was also kind of fun just looking back and seeing where I was with my collection at that time. Obviously I was getting very excited about a lot of the silly Toy Biz Marvel and DC figures at the time. And that's another thing where if you've been following my channel for a long time, you guys probably remember my journey on that. I've got those collections now. I've made videos about those collections. And even though they're not the best Marvel and DC figures, they're still some of my favorite for nostalgic reasons. So. Really fun to look back on this. I'm glad I had this footage, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this lost toy hunt. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, and until next time, my friends. Special thanks once again to the sponsor of this video, Mythic Legions Tactics, War of the Aether Blade. The popular toy line Mythic Legions from Four Horsemen Studios has launched a Kickstarter campaign for a tactical strategy game. Mythic Legions Tactics War of the Aetherblade brings the popular fantasy toy line onto the screen for the very first time in this action-packed, turn-based strategy and tactics game. This high fantasy adventure comes to life as players can choose different factions, customize their characters, and build campaigns with this innovative new title. Discover the world of mythos, factions, power struggles, and alliances with humans, elves, orcs, skeletons, demons, trolls, and more all await in this rich fantasy realm. Customization is king just like the toy line. Players will have the ability to customize their characters at a very high level and add new skins, accessories, and powers as they play. Combat matters. Dig deep into strategies that allow characters to fight by targeting limbs and making special attacks. Turn-based strategy and tactics players will embrace the familiar joy of a classic genre. We have the power of toys. Join the Kickstarter to get the video game and an exclusive set of beautifully sculpted, highly collectible action figures to enjoy. Mythic Legion's Tactics War of the Aetherblade will be playable on PC, Android, and iOS platforms at launch. Learn more about Mythic Legion's Tactics War of the Aetherblade by visiting the Kickstarter page where you'll find in-progress gameplay, footage, and images, a full list of stretch goals, exclusive figure offers, and descriptions of the backer packages. Just click the link in the video description. And thanks once again to Mythic Legion's Tactics War of the Aetherblade for sponsoring this video.